I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How is Photosynthesis Used in Real Life Situations? Okay, so let's review what photosynthesis is. All right, so the general reaction is reacting carbon dioxide with water, and you form glucose, an important sugar, and oxygen. And remember, that this is how plants get their energy. So, this little arrow can't happen unless the sun gives energy to the plants. And also remember that if we have our little tree here, The tree needs carbon dioxide from the environment, so it takes carbon dioxide and it releases oxygen, which obviously we need. So trees are great for the environment. So this is photosynthesis, and how is it used in everyday life? Well, uh, every day plants do this. Uh, every plant that's green and you see in the sun is using photosynthesis to uh, create its energy and it's really one of the most important reactions we have. And so if you mean real life in terms of how are humans using this, uh, the answer is sadly, we don't know how yet. So obviously you can kind of look at this and see a bunch of potential good, right? Let's say that today humans hammered down how to synthetically reproduce uh, photosynthesis. Well, for starters, our carbon dioxide emissions wouldn't be a problem anymore. If we could just set up a factory whose job was to take carbon dioxide and release oxygen, that'd be great for us, right? And not only does it create oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide, but it also creates sugar, which we can use as energy. And so if we could make our own energy from just using the sun, it'd be great. Uh, we wouldn't be dependent on fossil fuels anymore, I'm sure. There'd be thousands of other really, really cool applications, but unfortunately, it's really hard to uh, recreate this. And it's not for lack of trying. There are so many labs all over the US and the world that would definitely love to crack this code, but just hasn't been done yet. Uh, the day that this happens is gonna be a huge revolution for all of our science, but we are not there yet, and we're not even that close. It turns out that plants are just super, super complicated, and we have not been able to replicate it yet. So uh, check back in in like 25 years when we all drive cars as much as we want to with no guilt, hopefully. Uh, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Real Life Applications of Photosynthesis.